Hello and welcome to this video on Angels Lost. Now stop giggling. Angels Lost is a colloquial term for erections that occur after death. A likely reference to the idea of the spirit seeing an angel and... Well, you can imagine the rest. That old Crimvale being channeled. That's enough with the weeb degeneracy. It's time to learn why and how a death erection occurs. A death erection, Angels Lost, Rigor Erectus, or Terminal Erection all refer to the same events that occur after death. The phenomena has been regularly reported as it relates to pressure on the cerebellum created by hanging someone. Of course, the fact that convicts get erections during asphyxiation may speak more to their proclivities than it does a quirky physiological process, but there is also a physiological explanation as to what's happening. It just may not be applicable in all cases. The process of Angel's Lost is rather and unsurprisingly straightforward in some ways. First, we have a stress response. Think of the uh, shock involved in a quick drop and sudden stop, or for most people something more realistic, such as lions, tigers, and bears. This initiates the four F's of biology, in this case, of fleeing and fighting. But the curiosity is that it also activates a third F, the uh, reproduction F. The response involves the release of adrenaline. Adrenaline is a peripheral vasodilator and central vasoconstrictor. The result of increased peripheral blood and decreasing central blood means more is pushed to the penis, among other parts of the body. Normally, it should be the muscles that are receiving this to allow the person to fight or flee from the threat, as they are being hanged, but this is where the third F comes into play. The third F is also initiated, at least in males, as part of the erection process. It allows blood to flow to the periphery, and it involves, uh, well, the rather obviously named feature of Angel's Lust. But the actual mechanism by which it occurs is simplicity. It's the surprising stimulus of being hanged. It leads to adrenaline being released, adrenaline being the short-term stress hormone, and, well, nothing is quite as stressful as being hanged, we guess. As adrenaline is released, it goes to two main targets, the peripheral vascular system and the central vascular system. Vasodilation occurs in the peripheral vascular system as mentioned, that's because the smooth muscles located in these blood vessels will relax. That allows them to dilate or become bigger. This is either due to the removal of contractile stimulus by countermounting the instruction, or inhibition of contractility. That's down to the alpha-2 receptor. This helps then in turn allowing more blood to flow into those parts of the body, including the uh, spongy part of the penis. In the uh, central part of the body, intestines and similar organs in that area, the alpha-1 receptor reacts to it, and it causes a contraction of the blood vessel. This allows for the uh, minimum amount of blood required for the organs in your abdomen to stay alive, along with other parts of your body, while allowing any unneeded blood to flow elsewhere. The end result is the increase in penis blood, leading to enlargement. The normal process after this would be the uh, usual activities involved in an erection, followed by a sudden relaxation or ceasing of the stimulus that would allow the body to go back to normal state or homeostasis. Of course, with a hanging, that doesn't happen, but normally when the normal functions of the body go back to normal states of homeostasis, it results in ejaculation. But in this case, there is no way for the body to return to homeostasis. The brain dies, and it dies long before the signal to counteract the flow of blood is initiated. As a result, the only way to counter Angel's Lust is for the muscles to relax. And because there's no way to send a signal saying that, the consequences are the only way for Angel's Lust to disappear is to wait until the muscles contract back to the normal diameter and blood flows back to the remaining body due to the loss of, in most cases, something like the hormones breaking down or degrading, or the body running out of ATP, such as occurs with rigor mortis. This is a similar result to what would happen if you had the uh, parasympathetic response occur in the body, the parasympathetic response being your normal homeostasis or rest and respite situation, allowing your body to uh, cease blood flow. Death isn't exactly a solution to that. So, in one way, if you are experiencing erectile dysfunction, a very temporary solution is a hanging. 
This of course is not recommended by 9 out of 10 doctors. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Please do post any comments, questions or suggestions you have below.